As I sat in our cozy living room, the afternoon sun streamed in through the sheer curtains, casting a warm golden glow over everything. I watched the dust motes dance in the sunlight, lost in my own thoughts. This was one of those rare moments of tranquility in our busy lives, a moment to cherish. I am Jonathan, a man leading what some might call an ordinary life, a life filled with the typical joys and challenges of a husband, a partner, and a provider. My wife, Emily, is my anchor in this journey, the one who knows me better than anyone else in the world. Emily and I met in college, and our love blossomed over late-night study sessions, shared dreams, and countless laughter-filled moments. We became inseparable, forging a connection that felt like destiny. When we decided to tie the knot, it felt like the universe had aligned in our favor. Our home, a quaint house with a white picket fence, became our sanctuary. It was where we built a life together, a life filled with love, trust, and a deep understanding of each other. We had our share of ups and downs, but we faced everything hand in hand. But today was different. Emily, my ever-present companion, was away on a business trip. Her absence left a void in our home, a silence that seemed to echo her laughter and warmth. I missed her deeply, and the house felt incomplete without her. And then, just as I was lost in my thoughts, the doorbell rang. It was an unexpected sound, considering Emily's absence. I rose from my seat and walked to the door, curiosity gnawing at me. As I opened the door, my heart skipped a beat. Standing on our doorstep was Patricia, Emily's mother, a woman of grace and wisdom. She was not just Emily's mother. She was family, a beloved part of our lives. Patricia, what a pleasant surprise, I exclaimed, my voice filled with genuine delight. Her visits were infrequent, but always welcomed with open arms. Jonathan, dear, Patricia replied with a warm smile, her eyes sparkling with affection. I hope I'm not intruding. Emily told me she'd be away on business, and I thought I'd come by to keep you company. I was truly touched by her thoughtfulness. Not at all, Patricia. You're always welcome here, I assured her. As Emily's mother stepped inside, our home felt a bit warmer, a bit more alive. I couldn't help but feel grateful for her presence, a comforting reminder that even in Emily's absence, our family bonds remained strong. Little did I know that Patricia's visit would bring about a series of unexpected events, challenging me to confront a secret I had kept hidden for so long. As the day unfolded, I would find myself navigating uncharted waters, discovering unexplored facets of myself, and forging a unique connection with Patricia, one that would forever change our lives. You see, my life had a hidden facet, a passion I had tucked away from the world's prying eyes. It was a passion for cross-dressing, a realm where I could express myself freely, far removed from societal expectations and norms. In the privacy of our home, I would transform myself into a different persona, a woman. This secret world was a source of solace, a haven where I could be me, unburdened by the constraints of masculinity. Here, I could indulge in the fabrics, the colors, and the allure of femininity. Each moment spent in that secret world was precious to me, like stolen moments of enchantment that I tucked away in the corners of my heart. While I lived my ordinary life on the surface, my heart longed for those moments when I could be me, completely and unapologetically. Emily, my beloved wife, was the only one who knew the truth about my hidden passion. Our love transcended societal expectations, and we had embarked on a journey of understanding and exploration together. Emily had not only accepted my secret, but had embraced it with love and open arms. Our intimate moments often featured my persona, and our bond had only grown stronger as a result. But today, as Patricia settled into our living room, her presence cast a different light on my secret. Anxiety gnawed at me, like a persistent whisper in my ear. What if Patricia discovered the truth about me? What if the sanctuary I had created for my hidden self crumbled under her scrutiny? I watched Patricia as she made herself comfortable, her eyes scanning the room. Her visit, though unexpected, had an air of tranquility about it, and I couldn't help but wonder how it would unfold. 
Would today be the day when the walls protecting my secret would finally crumble, exposing the vulnerability within? As Patricia settled in and began chatting about Emily's trip and family matters, I resolved to tread carefully, guarding the secret that had defined a part of me for so long. As the afternoon sun dipped lower in the sky, Patricia decided to take on some household chores to help out during Emily's absence. She made her way to the laundry room, a place seldom visited by anyone other than Emily and me. I watched her move about, her presence filling the room with a sense of purpose. It was then that Patricia's eyes fell upon something unexpected, an elegant, larger-sized dress that had somehow found its way into the laundry. She picked it up, her fingers gently caressing the fabric, and turned to me with a questioning look. Jonathan, she began, her voice calm but curious. I couldn't help but notice this dress in the laundry. It's quite beautiful. Is it a surprise for Emily? My heart skipped a beat, and I felt a wave of anxiety wash over me. I hadn't anticipated Patricia stumbling upon my secret, and I certainly wasn't prepared to explain it to her. In that moment, I struggled to find the right words, my mind racing for a plausible explanation. I cleared my throat, my voice unsteady as I replied, Oh, that dress. Well, it's actually a gift, Patricia. A surprise for Emily when she returns from her trip. I thought it would be a nice way to welcome her back. Patricia regarded me with a thoughtful expression, her gaze unwavering. She seemed to sense my discomfort, and a flicker of curiosity danced in her eyes. Her next words were gentle but probing. Jonathan, she said, is there something you're not telling me? You seem a bit uneasy about this dress. I attempted to deflect her inquiry, my voice growing more evasive. It's just a surprise, Patricia. You know how Emily loves dresses. I wanted to make her feel special. But Patricia wasn't one to be easily swayed. She persisted in her gentle probing, drawing closer to the heart of the matter. She cornered me, figuratively and emotionally, until I had no choice but to confront the truth that I had hidden for so long. With a deep breath and a heavy heart, I finally admitted, Patricia, there's something you should know. That dress, it's not for Emily, it's for me. I'm a cross-dresser. For a moment, a heavy silence hung in the air. Patricia's initial surprise was palpable, and I braced myself for her reaction. But as our eyes met, I saw a glimmer of understanding and curiosity in her gaze, a curiosity that would set in motion a series of events that would forever change the course of our lives. Rather than reacting with judgment or condemnation, Patricia surprised me with her empathetic response. She didn't recoil or chastise me for my confession. Instead, she leaned in closer, her eyes filled with a newfound curiosity. It was as though she saw this revelation as an opportunity to connect with me in a way she never had before. Jonathan, she began, her voice soft and understanding. I had no idea, but I want you to know that I'm not here to judge you. In fact, I find your honesty quite brave. I've always believed that we should be true to ourselves, no matter what that entails. Her words, though unexpected, offered a glimmer of hope and acceptance. Patricia's next words, however, took me by surprise and left me both intrigued and apprehensive. Jonathan, she continued, why don't we take this opportunity to explore your cross-dressing together? I challenge you to embrace your femininity and dress up as a woman. It might be an eye-opening experience for both of us. My heart raced as her proposal sank in. The prospect of dressing up as a woman under Patricia's guidance was both exciting and nerve-wracking. I had never shared this secret with anyone outside of Emily, and the idea of revealing my feminine side to her mother was intimidating. Patricia's encouraging smile and unwavering support, however, began to erode my apprehension. With a sense of newfound courage, I nodded slowly and replied, All right, Patricia, I'll give it a try. With Patricia's guidance, we embarked on this unconventional journey together. She encouraged me to select women's clothing, offering her insights on fashion and style. As we browsed through dresses, blouses, and accessories, I found myself drawn to the vibrant colors and delicate fabrics. Under Patricia's gentle guidance, I began to shed my reluctance and embrace the transformation into a woman. 
She helped me choose a dress that suited my style and body type. And as I slipped into it, I couldn't help but feel a sense of vulnerability and excitement. As Patricia continued to assist me, she shared her knowledge of makeup and hairstyling, teaching me the intricacies of femininity. I watched in the mirror as my appearance gradually transformed. The soft brush of makeup against my skin, the curl of my hair, and the careful selection of accessories all contributed to a sense of femininity I had never before experienced. Throughout this process, Patricia's patience and encouragement were unwavering. She didn't merely guide me in dressing up as a woman. She nurtured my understanding of the art of being feminine. It was an experience that would challenge my preconceptions, open up new horizons, and strengthen the unique connection I shared with Patricia, a connection that would forever bind us in the most unexpected way. As I continued to explore this newfound world of femininity with Patricia's guidance, something remarkable began to happen. I started to embrace my female persona in a way I hadn't thought possible. Patricia's unwavering support played a significant role in this transformation. She encouraged me to experiment with different looks, providing valuable insights into makeup techniques, hairstyling, and the subtleties of feminine behavior. With her guidance, I learned to appreciate the art of being a woman and discovered a side of myself I had long kept hidden. Our day was filled with laughter, shared secrets, and the joy of self-discovery. Patricia's wisdom and gentle encouragement were a constant source of strength, allowing me to shed my insecurities and fully embrace my persona. With her by my side, I felt like I could conquer any challenge, even those born from the depths of my own identity. She had become not just a mentor, but a cherished confidant. As we sat in my room, surrounded by the traces of my transformation into a woman, I couldn't help but express my gratitude to her. I never imagined that you would be so accepting of my cross-dressing, I confessed, my voice filled with sincerity. I'm so glad I got to share this experience with you, Patricia. She smiled warmly, her eyes twinkling with understanding. Leaning in, she winked at me and said in a playful tone, Welcome to womanhood, Jonathan. Her words sent a shiver of excitement down my spine. It was a playful remark, but it held a deeper truth. With Patricia's guidance and support, I was beginning to understand what it meant to embrace my femininity and explore this captivating world of self-expression. The journey was far from over, but I knew that with Patricia by my side, I had found a partner in transformation, and our unique connection would continue to bind us in the most unexpected and wonderful ways. Hope you enjoyed this story, and if you're looking for a daily escape into the world of cross-dressing, Subscribe now and enjoy new stories every single day.